so hello and welcome to today's presentation so today's presentation is going to be on why you should learn how to program and I'm Boido Khan Rindolf, a BSc Mathematics student of KNST, and I'll be taking you through this presentation. So, why you should learn how to program? Why do you have to learn how to program? So, before I start with this presentation, I would like to give you some motivation. Okay. So let's look at the likes of Mark Zuckerberg. I know he's very popular because he's the inventor of Facebook and he's the CEO of Facebook. Then Bill Gates is also very popular because he has been the richest man on earth for a number of years and currently he's the second richest. And he's also the founder of the most popular Microsoft. So they have all been able to make huge sums of money as a result of the great skills they gain from computer programming and implementing it to create new things to make our world better so they learned how to program and from programming they've made you sums of money so today mark zuckerberg the founder of facebook is about 69 billion dollars and he's the fifth richest person on earth bill gates is worth 104 billion dollars and he's the second richest person on earth <laughs> Jeff Bezos is currently the most richest person on earth so this is just a little motivation for you they have been able to make huge sums of money from learning how to program you might not be able to make money like them but at least you make a money which will never make you like anything in life all right so the content we are going to go through a small introduction, then talk about what programming is, programming languages and examples, the work of a computer programmer, the job opportunities involved, how you can start programming as a beginner, and the salaries of computer programmers. Alright, so I'll encourage you to continue to watch to the end because before you are done watching, you will learn new things and this video will encourage you to start to program if you can and to also help you to know the programming language that you can start with and you can easily understand okay so please subscribe to the youtube channel for more content and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up like the video thank you very much so let's start you know increasingly our lives have become surrounded by technology and thus, it is very important for you to become a maker of the technology and not just a consumer of the technology. And learning how to program is what helps you to be a creator of the technology. And if you know how to program, then you can create new things. Everybody should know basically how to program and how to get things done inside of a computer. Just as much to be a responsible participant in a modern, increasingly technically oriented society. So learning how to program is very important because you know how to create things. You can create everything that you want to, so you become an inventor. I hope you get it. <laughs> Programming is so nice. So, what if you are the one to create the next WhatsApp, Messenger, or Telegram? It all depends on your programming skills. So, you know, some years ago, um, Facebook Messenger was the most popular instant messaging app. Every time WhatsApp came, and now we have Telegram. And I know that in years to come, there are going to be better instant messaging apps than these ones. Because you know, Messenger used to be the best, and now everyone will select WhatsApp over that. So, every time new ones will come, what if you are the next person to create that? What if? You can create a new search engine better than Google. We all know Google is the most popular and most powerful search engine. What if you can create something better than that? What if you can build a new YouTube? What if you can use your programming skills to solve that local or global challenge we are facing? So programming helps you to 
solve a lot of issues, to create a lot of things to help make the world a better place to live in. So programming should be something that you should learn how to do because it is very lucrative. So now let's go to what is programming. So computer programming is a process of designing and building an executable computer program to accomplish a specific computing result. And this definition is taken from Wikipedia. So simply put, programming is a way to instruct computer to perform various tasks. Programming is a way to instruct computer to perform various tasks. So you know, when you have just your laptop, your tablet, your phone, just the hardware component of it makes it useless. What makes it very important is the software component. Alright? So that's the reason why if you just have a laptop without an operating system without an application on it then that laptop is useless it can't do anything it is the software on it the application software on it which makes the laptop very very useful and all these programs are made with programming so the source code of a computer program is written in one or more languages that are intelligible to programmers rather than a machine code which is directly executed executed by the central processing unit so programming languages right so we've talked about what the programming like what programming is now we have to talk about what a programming language is because we program in a language right so programming language is a formal language comprising a set of instructions that produce various kinds of outputs so computer programming languages are used in computer programming to implement algorithm so it is just like learning how to speak if you want to learn how to speak then you have to learn how to speak in a particular language you can't learn to speak in all languages you have to start with one at a time of course you can do with all languages but it has to be one at a time so if you are learning how to program so you have to choose a programming language and start with right so we have examples of several programming languages so we have python we have c we have c sharp we have c plus plus we have php javascript pascal java Perl. and if you look at this image here we have a lot we have html we have atom and a whole lot of others right so what is the work of a computer programmer so that's the job opportunities in computer programming. So the question is, what kinds of programming jobs are out there? What job duties are involved? And what can you expect from a computer coding salary? So you try to answer this question. So the first job opportunity is software application developer. So software developers are responsible for creating and enhancing applications for cell phones, tablets, and other mobile devices. So this is an ideal programming career for someone who has a big picture mentality and likes to collaborate with others to bring ideas to life. Knowing coding basis and having an aptitude for math are also very important. Of course, mathematics is very important in the field of programming. So most common programming languages for software application developers, we have Java, JavaScript, and Python. <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't use other languages for them, but these are the top, the top programming languages are the most common. Then the second one is a web developer. So have you been looking at how your website, the website that you visit look like and how they function? Okay, so all these is the direct results of a web developer all right so all programming careers that take patience take patience but this one provides more instant gratification than most so web developers listen well to their clients needs and problem solve to give them the best website possible for their business at the end of a project you have a working accessible website to show off your hard work so web developers do well when they can show a portfolio of their work and have a deep understanding of coding. And most common programming languages for web developers are JavaScript, Java, HTML. <coughs> so
so you can also be a database administrator right so database administrators are tasked with securing organizing and troubleshooting storage for large amounts of information for companies online so if you love analyzing and recovering information as well as fast problem solving this could be the coding career for you so most common programming languages for database administrators you have python java oracle or sql then we also have you can be a computer programmer so computer programmers write programs and rewrite programs until they are free of errors they use a workflow chart and coding formulas until the desired information is produced attention to data and patience will set you apart in coding career so in this coding career so you know coding is something which demands a lot of patience because <laughs> you won't get it once you have to practice and of course we know practice makes man perfect so most common programming languages for computer programmers are java javascript and microsoft c sharp then you can also be a network administrator so network system administrators maintain computing environments in their networks and prevent disasters by backing up data so providing network security and avoiding viruses are the major tasks along with making sure codes are free of errors and protecting both the network and hardware of the computers and most common programming languages for network administrators we have python Perl, and java so now we have a lot of um other career opportunities you can google on the internet and you find more and read about it so now we answer this important question how can i start programming as a beginner you know the shit is that learning how to program <laughs> is very fun right but a lot find it difficult to start to program maybe it's because of how it is so most people have a perception that programming is very difficult to learn but that is not necessarily true it depends on you and the effort you put in place and others find it very difficult to choose a programming language to start with yes that mostly happens to be the problem most of us face with you know we have a lot of languages you ask yourself should i start with python should i start with c should i start with c plus plus should i start with c sharp this and that and sometimes it can make you very confused so mostly before you can get start to program as a beginner for me i suggest the most important thing is you need motivation and you you have to know the reason why you should learn how to program because mostly when you understand why you should do something it helps you to be disciplined be determined and work very hard in doing that thing so that's the reason why at the start of this presentation i use the story of mark zuckerberg and Bill Gates to motivate you and i also motivated you with you being the next creator of the next whatsapp youtube a search engine better than google and the rest so all these tell you what you can do with programming right so you see you are getting some sort of motivation and you have to read more to motivate yourself and also talk to people who are ahead of you people friends who are already programming and making things with their skills in programming it really motivates you because you know what you can gain from this career okay so when it comes to choosing a language to start with a language to start with and i'll say the most simple and easy to understand easy w easy to understand so this is easy to understand programming language to start with is the python programming language because the python programming language is very easy um it has a very easy to understand syntax since it is in english and uh, it's not that difficult so if you want to really start programming then the most recommended programming language for most beginners is the python programming language so as a result of that in our next presentation or our next video we are going to talk about um, this programming language called python so why python and a brief introduction about it then we'll start learning python on this channel so <laughs> the more reason why you have to subscribe so that you don't miss any video so now what are the salaries of a computer programmer so um 
the average computer programming salary is um, $63,241, right? So the minimum is 41000 the median is 63000 and the maximum is $99,000. So you have to learn how to program because it makes you happy. You can create things. You can be the inventor of new things. You can be super rich as well. Programming is something which is very nice and you should learn how to program. So thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation.